Hey guys, Wells Knight here. Welcome back to another episode of Grounded. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, we're back in the upper yard. I actually am kind of curious about something. If I just chop this stuff down, does it actually give you anything? Doesn't look like it. I think it just, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're back uh, kind of near the charcoal. So I'm trying to figure out how to get to the upper, upper yard, and I think this is how. I think we're supposed to run up that little sort of ramp. The downside is that's a lot of charcoal there, and we might burn to death, uh, but we're going to try it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, we might be okay. I mean, we are at full HP, um, and I do have healing capabilities, so... If it really comes down to it, we might be fine. Yeah. All right. So we are burning real quick. Uh, can we get past it? Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We just got to get away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big deal. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, we're still sizzling a little bit, but uh, we are now in the upper, upper yard, which... Oh, uh, hi. That is a black ox beetle. Uh, this is another thing I need to get rid of. Weak to busting. Uh, we are going to have to fight this thing. Um, actually, I think this is the hammer. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, that hurt a lot. Uh, tell you what, let's actually go... Let's go here. See if we can get some HP back. This is going to be a long fight. In fact, you know what? Let's do this to boost our damage a little bit. And then switch back to this. That way I can actually hurt you a little. But this thing... Okay, that's good. Let's let our stamina regen. Okay. Shield is helping out quite a lot here. He actually doesn't seem that bad. Like, he hits real hard if he actually manages to hit you. The problem is he really struggles to actually hurt me. And I do have uh, spicy safety that's reducing uh, slam and stabbing damage, which I, I'm guessing is most of his attacks. Okay. We totally got this guy. That actually wasn't that hard. Takes forever just because our damage output is pretty lacking, but we got black ox parts now, uh, and that is going to be used for all sorts of... That's, that's used for, like, the Tier 3 hammer, which is huge. That's used for... I, I want to say there's a weapon and an armor set as well that are both pretty good. So, very, very glad about that one. Um, food and stuff is a little bit lacking, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, we'll switch back to this for the moment. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. Oh, and I see a sparkly down there. We might actually just drop down here. Because I do need more of these beetles anyway. And I don't see... Okay. We'll go back to you. You just gotta be a little careful. We're fine. Ow. 
Yeah, that attack is the problem. The rest of them, not so much. It's that rock throw. But the more of these we can kill, the better. I really need a better weapon, though. Like, we're gonna struggle. Okay. What? I know, like, I know he's weak to busting damage, but hammers are just so bad. I suppose I could use a club if I had one, but I don't. Oh, okay, hi. Okay, you know what? We're gonna switch to the mosquito thing real quick so I can kill this larva. Because you're presenting an issue. And then we're just going to stab you uh, a few times to get our HP back. It's not a ton of HP, but it does add up. Oh, thank you, Ladybird Larva. You know what? We'll let them, uh... We'll let them go at it for a minute. I'm just gonna eat... A little bit of food. Okay. That was not what I wanted to do. I used a, a smoothie when I didn't mean to, but it's fine. Okay. There we go. More black ox stuff. Now, is there a research station thing down here somewhere? There may be. Okay. There's definitely more of these guys. Who are admittedly quite annoying. There we go. Now, where was that? Right here. Buried treasure. Okay, so it's going to be the uh, spicy, whatever these things are called. Looks like this is where you find most of the spicy uh, stuff and mint stuff, for the most part, is by digging it up. Which is fine. Uh, but I'm going to poke around down here a little bit, see if I can find anything else that's particularly interesting. Uh, I imagine we'll find some stuff. Oh, speaking of which, this is not a candy. What are you? Oh, it, it was just candy. It's just candy in the form of a chest instead of... Uh, okay, well, that's not as exciting. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep looking. Okay, there is something over here. I'm not entirely sure what, but I do hear stuff. It's also very dark. Oh, hello. Uh, is there anything back here? Yes. So, tell you what. Let's break these. This is a bomb wall. So, let's drop a bomb. We'll just peek back here. What do we got? Oh. I think those are termites. Yep. Termite workers. So what are you weak to? Stabbing. Ow! Okay. Okay. 
I'm just gonna stab you to death. Okay, that got us termite parts. Um, I need to be able to see. Now, the nice thing is, I think because of the mosquito giving me lifesteal, I can basically just, uh, like, face tank this damage. <laughs> Which is not ideal, but it will work. Now, the annoying thing is that uh, they do not have eyes, so I can't actually see them. Uh, like, if I was fighting ants, they have red glowing eyes, so I need, so I wouldn't actually need the torch. But because that's not the case here... Oh, there you are. Just die. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this. Do a little of this. There we go. Uh, so that's a termite thing. So let's just take a peek. I know we saw the recipe for the termite axe. We need termite chompers, which is uh, not termite pieces, unfortunately. Uh, I'll check that out later. But let's keep working our way up here. Maybe we will come across something that requires termite or something that actually drops termite chompers that is so many termites um yeah i'm not gonna go that way we'll kill these two here but there are just way too many termites termites up that way for me to deal with like i can kill a couple but I don't have the, uh... Like, there were so many... Like, do you see how many termites are up there? Like, that's a lot. That's too many for me to deal with, I think. Uh, okay, so we'll head back the other way. Let's see what else is down this little tunnel. Uh, looks like my light source is starting to run a little low, too. So we don't want to spend too much time down here. But I think... Oh, more, more termites. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe they'll leave me alone if I just go elsewhere. Yep. Cool. Alright, put our torch back on. Uh, now it is getting dark. Oh, hi. There's also supposed to be somewhere down here um, a lab. Well, maybe not down here, but there's supposed to be a lab or a science thingy, a research station somewhere. I have not yet seen it, but I would assume that it's here somewhere. Uh, I also need to figure out how to get out of here because, like... This trench is cool and all, but, like, I don't want to be trapped here forever. Oh, I missed the jump. It's fine. Okay. I did see a milk molar up there that I don't know if I can even get to. Uh, I might just have to spend some time figuring out how to get out of this trench. Where am I, anyway? Yeah, this is, like, a very, very deep... What? Well, you... Hi. That's doing basically nothing. Okay, that's an orb weaver. Um, Please die. Okay. 
Was not expecting an orb we were there. This appears to be a jack. Uh, okay. I'm just going to keep looking. There's a spork over here. I mean, the, the problem is I've never been over here, so I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, <laughs> but I will take these salt bits. They're used for various things. And salt shards are not super easy to come by. So we might as well grab them. Uh, this looks like it might go up. Maybe? No, this, this looks like it's a dead end. Okay, I guess I'm just going to keep looking. Okay, my friends, I was doing a bit more exploring, uh, and I came across a termite soldier. I've actually already killed a couple of these guys, and then I was like, you know what, I should probably record this a little bit. Um, this is going to be used to make the uh, termite axe, because these guys drop the termite uh, pincers, or whatever they're called which are going to be very, very important for us. And we're going to have to not be here pretty soon. Uh, like, I think I'm going to basically kill this guy and then head back to my actual proper base. Please die. Thank you. Uh, let's actually heal just a little bit here. Um, but, yeah, we are over kind of up in this chunk of the map right up here. Uh, I managed to find a way over here. There's like a big bike. Uh, and I found a couple of termite soldiers, which got me four termite chompers. These I can use to make the termite axe, which then can be used to harvest other things that I need to make better gear. Uh, I think, honestly, that's like our next step is take this stuff back to a workbench. I don't think I... I, I mean, I need to find a research station if I'm going to do that, but... Um, yeah, like, we're just going to start making our way out of here. Uh, my torch is almost gone. I, I really wish I could find a research station around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep exploring a little bit, and ultimately I will meet you back at the oak tree, which is where I'm going to be heading. Um, yeah, I think it'll be good. So as I was making my way back home, I decided to go kind of along this little chunk here. Um, because why not? It was a relatively easy way to travel. And I came across a fire ant uh, and managed to kill that for a fire ant part. So that's pretty good as well. The more, I mean, we're going to find quite a lot of tier three armor and uh, equipment recipes, I think. Once we do ultimately make it back to the oak tree, which is over there. And I think, I think it's probably about time for us to make the jump. Yeah, I think so. I think what I want to do is put a zip line to like right here because it gives us easy access to the upper yard, this chunk over here, and then everything over. Like it's a nice little crossroads. Um, that gives us kind of access to everything we want and then some. So I think I'm probably going to do that, although not right this very second. Uh, I'll just... Oh yeah, my inventory is completely full. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to head back to the oak tree and uh, do some researching and crafting and stuff. Okay, we're into Burgle's lab, and here we can research all of the things. Uh, I mean, well, a lot of the things anyway. So let's start with the termite chompers. We'll get those done first. Then I think we'll do the fire ant piece, which will tell us a little bit about uh, fire ant armor. And then let's go ahead and do the black ox horn as well. The rest of it will have to wait until this stuff recharges, but black ox hammer, black ox helm. So uh, all good. So looking at... The recipes now. Oh, we can also make the mint mace, too. Uh, that's something else we'll want to make. Uh, but black ox hammer, we need pupil leather. Apparently, to get pupil leather, you need uh, the termite axe. So we'll need to make the axe, probably make the mint mace, and then probably... Uh, then we'll have to go on another adventure, I think. Um, but we're getting tier 3 armor. That's kind of getting there. I don't know if the black ox stuff is any good. 
Uh, I'll have to look into it. But we're getting all sorts of good things. Uh, I'm going to have to come back here once our stuff recharges in order to uh, research the rest of this stuff. But yeah, definitely some good recipes for us now. Aha! I figured out what we need Everchar coal chunks for. Uh, that is for an oven. This is used to make the globs for upgrading your weapon. So in order for us to make mint globs, so I could make the uh, mint mace, for example, uh, we need to get those going. And we're just going to let that kind of go. That'll be fine. A um, little unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, I also want to start getting silk rope ready. Oh, hey, we just got uh, coziness as well. Uh, when you have enough stuff in your base, it increases your coziness, and then that unlocks new uh, rest. I think it goes up to coziness level four is the highest one. Uh, so, yeah, pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and make a couple things here. Let's start with the termite axe. Uh, this is going to be the most important. We'll do that. Uh, and then I don't... I can't make the mint mace until the oven is done with these globs. Uh, so we will do that. Um, what else do I actually want? I can't make the hammer until I have leather. Yeah, I think what we should just do maybe is just upgrade the axe here. We'll just get this up to like level five. Ish? Sure. And then as far as, uh, like, I could do a couple things here. I could put enhancements on it. Uh, I could just make it mighty, which just gives it extra damage and durability. Or we could look at uh, giving it elemental damage, which I don't hate. I'm just going to leave it at level five for now, though, uh, because it is going to be better than our insect. It, it like strictly better than our insect axe. So let's put you into here. Uh, oh, we also need to repair that. Because that ran out entirely while I was gone. Uh, so we now have a tier 3 weapon. Uh, which is going to do like a fairly decent chunk of damage. Uh, I don't know yet what I want to be using it on as far as enemies go. Uh, but I am going to make the mint mace once this is done. Uh, and we will upgrade that as well. Now, I should check. Uh, okay, so I do have a couple more of these brittle shards. And you'll notice we do now have a recipe that we can make them ourselves. Kind of a pain. Requires sap and larva spikes and then sap and grub hide. The grub hide isn't so bad. Uh, the or the larva spikes aren't so bad because we know places on the map where we can go and fight tons and tons of larva. Uh, but grub hide is going to be uh, not fun um, <laughs> because it just takes so long to uh, to gather all uh, gather it all up. It'll be fine, though. Uh, let's put all that stuff there and we'll just kind of let this do its thing. Now, I do want uh, a fair amount of the silk uh, rope. I'm just going to grab a bunch of that. What do I actually need to make a... Uh, a thingamadoodle, a zipline anchor. I need clay is the other thing. Okay. Uh, do I have any is the question. I have one clay there. That's not a lot. No, I basically have no clay. Okay, so we'll have to get some while we're over there. That's fine. We're going to have to get weeds while we're over there anyway. So I think that's probably okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take these. And let's go ahead and make ourselves the Mint Mace. Uh, which I am actually just going to upgrade right away also. So, And we're actually going to go all the way up to level 6. And then I need to make Mighty Globs here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to take a while, but in the meantime, we'll just rock the normal mint mace. Uh, now, the mint mace, unfortunately, uh, is not useful for, um, it, it. it's not useful for, like, 
breaking things. I can't use it to smash rocks or whatever. It's basically good for combat. or It's basically good for combat, and that is pretty much it. So just something to kind of bear in mind, but it'll be fine. I'm just going to kind of rearrange some hotbar stuff, I think, just to get all this good. Put that there. Okay, uh, and then up here we need stuff that is mostly not going to be used in combat. Uh, sure, that seems good. I just need more. <laughs> I, I need a bigger hot bar uh, or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this at the moment. Uh, I will take the repair glue, and I guess we'll make more out of... I have a lot of... I guess antlion parts. Sure. Okay. So, uh, what time is it? It is about noon. Uh, oh, I, I want to, I still want to research uh, these two things before I head back there. Uh, so let's just jump down. We'll use our little dandelion tuft. And I'm guessing we should have two more charges by now. This will also let us refill our uh, hydration. Oh, you know what? I should make another torch before I go to. Or another light source. So let's research this. There we go. That gets us uh, the Black Ox armor and crossbow, which is a tier 3 crossbow. And then this is nothing I really need. Okay. Okay. So that's all good. Uh, drink more water. Do I really want anything here? What goes into making this rust? I definitely don't have rust. Uh, this is medium armor. I think I'm looking for heavy armor, honestly. So I don't think we care about any of the rest of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to make a torch. I'm going to head back. Uh, and hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, well, I'm all geared up and ready to go. Uh, I think we're going to save our next adventure into the upper yard, though, for the next episode. So I'm out of time for this one. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.